So Dragon's Age Inquisition was a game that really, really grew up on me, and I played that game a lot back in 2014 because that well, year didn't have so many games as a whole. And honestly, I was waiting for The Witcher 3 more than Dragon's Age Inquisition. But one thing I can tell you is when Witcher got delayed, Dragon's Age Inquisition was the only open world RPG I can rely on on my time. And nonetheless, I put like 300 hours on that game. And today, we're going to talk about its sequel. The sequel to Dragon Age Inquisition called Dragon Age The Veilguard. What is up, guys? We're here coming a brand new video, and let's talk about this game that honestly, I don't know what is the fiasco, and people are calling it the Fortnite of RPG. Before the end of the video, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, give it a like, subscribe. I bring you videos any other day, and thank you for the support back in YouTube Shorts and the other videos. They have been really, really viewing my videos. I didn't know that was gonna happen. For example, my body game video, it was like 100 views. That, for me, it's really, really appreciated. But honestly, let's just go to the video. So, if you've been living down a rock, Dragon Age has been one of those franchises that has taken the world by storm. But every single RPG of that franchise has changed uh, dramatically. The first one was an action kind of turn-based combat, didn't play it. Then Dragon Age 2 came in, it was like the weakest of all, but it had that action RPG type of gameplay. Then Inquisition came up and changed everything as a whole. And in a game that many people have thinking that EA is one of those scummy, greedy companies, Dragon Age Inquisition has been one of the best games of EA in a long, long time. Taking apart Titanfall and Dragon Age Inquisition, those two games are EA's best game in a long, long time. And with the recent uh, release back in 2020 or 2019, Anthem, Bioware lost the faith of their fans, the, the gamers, and people were very skeptical, talking about, hey, uh, can this really be a knock out of the park? And honestly, since the 20 minute gameplay I just saw, yeah, it is a knock out of the park. Dragon, Dragon Age, uh, the Velgard looks fucking fantastic, okay? Like the gameplay feels really good, the, the magic, and the story is some sort of headed in a way that it's obviously a sequel to Dragon Age Inquisition. Like, I want to play it back because honestly, I didn't play all of the expansion pack. But now that I got a PC and I got the PS5, I really can go back and play this game. Now, it's just for the story, not for uh, doing like 100%. I just want to play the story, play the expansion pack, and go with, uh, to Velgar with a fresh mind. But Velgar looks so good. And I don't know why people are talking about that. It looks like Fortnite. It looks like Fortnite. Look. I know you like your old black fantasy type of mature game, Witcher and Dragon Age and Baldur's Gate. Everybody loves those games, but this game looks pretty good. Not so kind of way Fortnite-ish. The gameplay, it's really, really has changed. Now, instead of a hack and slash, beating those games and taking damage, you are dodging, you're parrying, you're doing magic, you're, you're, you're action the game as a whole, you know, kind of like a Let's just say I feel weird like a Witcher type of way, but obviously different. You got more magic, you got companions, you got different type of enemies all on your screen, and you have an objective. And you, the good thing with, with Dragon, Dragon Age the Velgard, it's that it comes this year. That's the thing that really, really blew my mind. I, I thought this game was a 2025, early 2025, but we can expect this game this year. But what caught my eye? Why I did like so much of this 20 minute gameplay and addressing of the Fortnite graphics. Look, I know Fortnite came when the Battle Royale was at this peak. We had to talk about that. And I really feel weird that people are calling this game a Fortnite game, like a Fortnite type of graphics or like a toned down. And honestly, I just went to see the Dragon Age Inquisition one. And it hasn't much of change. All of you, the colors have changed so far. You know, it's a lot of more brilliant, bright colors instead of a grainy type of green because that was a hot inquisition has found. The gameplay as a whole, the combat was the one thing that ruined me. Like the rogue is a is a class that I really want to go in. I was always a warrior with a big sword and smashing everybody left and right. But this 
rogue right here a dagger and a small sword and arrows on their back i was sold right out of the bat because if one of the things I've grew up in the past few years is that I really love speed type of combat in my character. Like Dark Souls, Witcher, I grew up with those type of combats during the ten, last 10 years. And with Dragon Age Velgar, when I saw this gameplay, I was like, yo, I want to see much more class act. Because I know you go play Dragon Age, you got your mage, you got your rogue, you got your warrior, all those types. And when you choose one of those classes, they have two weapons or more. That is what I love about Dragon Age. Obviously, you play Witcher, you only have one that is Witcher, that is Hunter, that you only have two swords, a silver sword and a normal sword. So that is a difference. And back in 2014 and 2015, those two were my RPGs of the year so far. But the thing that I really want to go, it's that the game doesn't look very weird like it's a Fortnite RPG, really. I don't know why people are really bothering about that. I like people are really, really taking this out of proportion, in my opinion, because Fortnite is very cartoonish, very, very kid friendly. Yes, you might say that Dragon Age Veilguard looks very cartoonish, very friendly, but this is an RPG, mature RPG. And I get it. I get it. People don't like that. But we have to understand that there are games out there that look kind of weird, but they're mature. One of those games I can take it out out of context is Brutal Legend. Brutal Legend was a game that I never played in my life until a fucking few years ago. And I said, what the hell is this game? And it took me by surprise how good was it. And to this day, I wanted a sequel that right now with Microsoft only compulsion games, it can be possible. But I don't know which of you guys are going that this is Fortnite and RPG. Well, it might, you know, help in sales because right now EA needs a banger with all the things that are going right now. And Bioware needs a knock out of the park with this game so we can trust them with the next Mass Effect. Because remember, Mass Effect and Domeda came in with bad reviews. Well, I'm not going to say bad reviews. In my opinion, I really liked the game. The story was real good. And I wish there was a sequel or an expansion better we can play. The thing that most people didn't like was the performance of the game and the characters looking like a bland lollipop. And is that the truth? Like, <laughs> I really, really like Mass Effect as a whole and Dragon Age, but we have to understand, Bioware has not been the same in the past couple of years. Um, except for that Mass Effect collections that it was horrible on the PS5 with fucking performance everywhere and crashing. But Dragon Age Velgar can be the knockout of the park that Bioware needs. We need this game to be a success because I'm a very big fan and I see Mary Bay Mary many big fans rooting for Bioware. And I get it. People tend that this game looks and feels like a Fortnite RPG. But seeing this 20 minute gameplay, it's just shutting people left and right with their assumptions. The good thing is it's not diversity. It's not weird. It's just look at a, like a great RPG. It will go more of a hack and slash way. Perry will be in the game. Romance will be back and it's kind of sound like a soul expansion story like it will have a beginning and it will have an end that's what we're looking for no microtransactions no greedy uh no greedy dlc just end at a beginning and end to a story and good good story and i mean it like by word hasn't hasn't missed all that but you know left and right things that can happen but one thing i can tell you i'm excited for this game Dragon Age Vilgard, it's one of those RPGs that I want to play this year with the time I don't have, but we'll see. The good thing is I'm going to go on PC on this one, not on the PS5 or the Xbox Series S, and I'll see what it can deliver. But let me know down below what you think about Dragon Age Vilgard. Uh, please comment below, let me know, subscribe to the channel, it helps a lot on the video, and just tell me if you're playing Dragon Age Crusader again. I'm doing it. So comment below, let me know what you think about the video, and I'll see you next time on the next Raiding Guy show. Peace.